टूडे वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टेन डेल्टा टेस्ट टेन डे डेल्टा टेस्ट इज फर और टू डिटारमाइन द डिटरिशन अफ इन्सुलेशन टू चेक हुएदार आवार इन्सुलेशन इज गुड एंड बैड इफ उ डू द टेन डेल्टा टेस्ट ऑन ट्रांसफर्मार्स सो लेटस नाउ स्टार्ट अबाउट टेन डेल्टा टेस्ट अफ ट्रांसफर्मार ट्रांसफर्मार्स हेज टू वाइंडिंग वन इज प्राइमरि एंड अदार इज सेकेंडारि इनकेस इफ यू थिंक अबाउट द भेटर डायग्राम और द कनेक्शन सो इन द प्राइमरि सैड उ हेव द थ्री वाइंडिंग आर वाई बी सो दिस इज वन कंडक्टर्स एंड द सेकेंडारि सैड अल्सो द थ्री कनेक्शन आर वाई बी सो दिस इज द सेकेंड कंडक्टर्स इन बिटुईन द फार्ष्ट कंडक्टर एंड सेकेंड कंडक्टर्स ऑएल हेज प्रेजेंट इन द ट्रांसफर्मार सो ऑएल इज द इन्सुलेशन अफ द ट्रांसफर्मार्स और द कैपासिटर्स अफ द ट्रांसफर्मार्स इफ उ डिसकसड अ थिंग अबाउट ह्वाट इज द कैपासिटर्स कैपासिटर्स हेज द टू प्लेट एंड इन बिटुईन दिस टू प्लेट द डाइलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम हेज प्रेजेंट सो इन केस अफ द ट्रांसफर्मार्स प्राइमरि वाइंडिंग इज ए वन प्लेट एंड द सेकेंडारि वाइंडिंग इज द एनदार प्लेट सो ऑएल इज द so if we discussed about the capacitors so this is the capacitors here capacitors has a dielectric medium in between of the two plates it is the capacitors if we discussed about the tan delta then some amount of moistures and dust particles are in the primary and secondary winding and oil obviously some moistures are present in the primary winding or dust particle or secondary winding or dust particle and the impurities or the dust particular moistures in the oil deteriorates the angles deteriorates the angles as per the diagram is concerned it is the voltage it is the current axis it is the voltage axis voltage axis and ic is the capacitive current and vc is the voltage applied in the capacitors so in between ic and vc the angle is 90 degree for pure capacitors for pure capacitors we will get the angle of 90 degree in between voltage and current in the capacitors we know that the current is lead by the voltage by 90 degree so in case of the tan delta test if we applied some voltage some resistive current will flow to the winding a resistive current will flow to the winding and that will uh, decrease that will decrease the angle that will decrease the angle so in case uh, for resistive current resistive current uh, flowing the resultant current will be flow ir plus ic so this is uh, the delta angle deteriorates from the previous one's ic angle so this is this was the resultant current previously and this is the uh, resultant current after the test so ir plus ic this is the resultant current and this is the delta angle deteriorates and it is also the ir you can uh, it is the ir this deteriorations or the displacement is for the resistive current so <clears throat> the tan delta is equal to ir by ic resistive current by capacitive current in if we uh, discussed about the power factor then the power factor is ir resistive current divided by the total current what is the total current total current is ir plus ic so ir divided by ir plus ic is the power factor power factor the another name of the the another name of the tan delta is, is the depreciation factors so the percentage of ddf should be less than 1% percent. 
less than 1% if the dissipation factor is less than 1% then the equipment insulation is better or for uh, we can use that equipment accordingly but if the ddf is one or above one then you have to uh, replace the respective equipments after use of 25 years or 20 15 25 years if we uh, do the 10 delta test and if we get the 10 delta test of 0.6 to 0.7 percent so the material or the equipment condition is okay as per the uh, testing is concerned for transformers above 5 MVA we done the 10 delta test we um, done the 10 delta test on the GT, GAT, ST, CT, current transformer, circuit breaker, CVT, capacity voltage transformer, generators, lighting arresters, isolators, cables, motors, uh, uh, rating greater than 6.6 kV. 6.6 kV. But the procedures of the testings may be changed accordingly. Accordingly. We will, um, after, uh, after the 10 delta test, we will get, uh, by help of the some uh, updated uh, machines, we will get the frequency, what we are, we are just applying, what is the leakage current is flowing through the equipments, uh, what is the 10 delta percentage, you, uh, what is the applied voltage to the terminal of the equipment, which is under the testing, and C is the microfarad, is the capacitance, what is the capacitance between the primary and secondary uh, or uh, which equipments we are just uh, testing accordingly and P is the power consumptions. If we uh, if we look at the diagram or the wave from wave from here um, what is it? It is the current axis it is the time axis current is flowing <coughs> current is flowing as per the wave from is concerns we are just applying um, this blue color uh, wave from is the reference current and after testing we get the that black color wave from current so the test object current these two points these two points these two points are the displacement these two points is the displacement of the displacement of the angle displacement of the angle this is the displacement of the angle this is called the delta phase shift phase shift so the dielectric losses causes the phase shift the dielectric losses causes the phase shift as per this drawing is concerned we can explain this diagram as per the dielectric losses what is the dielectric lo losses in between the oil is the oil in 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 the oil it is the insulation, it is the capacitors and some amount of moistures and dust particles um, are present in the primary and secondary winding of the oil. So this is the um, dielectric losses and for that dielectric losses this angle shift or displacement will be there. So this is the tan delta. So the tan delta value should be less than 1 for better use. If the um, value greater than one so you have to replace the material accordingly so today we discussed about the tan delta test and what is the necessity of the tan delta test and uh, if you are interested to show my video and um, get some knowledge about the electrical engineering chapter so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more update. Thank you friends.